Hello, fellow haunters and scary podcast. Today, we're going to be building a unique kind of knee pad. Yes, I said build. This is a build video. What we are going to be doing today is we're going to be building probably the most iconically unique knee pad in the world. Well, probably not the most iconically unique. But it's unique for sliding, anyways. We're going to be making gel fit rocker slider pads. Um, I already w was working on this one. I was trying to actually do an entire build video on this, but it did not work. But what we will what I will do anyways is I'm going to basically show the process all over again because I screwed up like I said on the last video so I am just redoing it because I'd rather redo it even though I was sure I did it right the first time still better to redo it and get it done right but I gotta let that one sit for a bit anyways so we're gonna set that like show so it can dry need my jank piece so I can move it around and manipulate it Yes, I think that'll work. If it stays there. Alright. Anyways. So what you're going to need for this build, of course you're going to need gel fit rockers, which you, well they're Menards gel fit rockers. These are the Master Force gel fit fanatics like gel fit fanatic uh rock but they're called gel fit rockers on for in the sliding community or just look just look it up online you're gonna need this though a knife or pocket knife definitely actually gonna want to have a pocket knife on you at all times when you're at haunt for this and or you're gonna need a saw or just some kind of sharp object really just something for scoring but anyways so what you're gonna want to do is you're going to want to take your knife or something whatever you're using and you're gonna want to score up the whole knee pad area until it's like a gritty surface. You're all, oh, I almost forgot. Aside from that, you're also going to need a hot glue gun. And this is a personal preference, but um, I use, I'm using Gorilla Glue, Gorilla Hot Glue Sticks. And you're also going to need um, longboarding pucks or bang bang pucks. I have the spark version of the bang bang pucks. And you're also going to need a paint stirring stick and you're going to want to cut it. I'll show you here what you're going to have to cut it, like how you're going to have to cut it. But give me one <laughs> sec actually. Did it set? Oof. No, not entirely yet. We're getting there though. I'll show you like the finished product and stuff but I got to do a little searching here. Anyways, what you're going to want to do then, and this is an old one, but I can't find any others. You're going to need, you only need about one stick for this, normally. Oh, I actually might be able to get two if I do this correctly.
You're gonna need only one paint stirring stick. I screwed up and I have to use two, but usually you only need one. And of course you're gonna wanna cut this piece off and then you're gonna to wanna to take this piece and you're gonna to wanna to cut the rest to about the same length. Ooh, I actually might be able to if I just get this fucking paint off. I'm not able to though, am I? Okay, I'm just going to use it. Preferably a clean paint stirring stick, not one that is riddled with basement paint or something of that sort. Me, I'm just using what I have around here. I got to get more paint stirring sticks. that in the trash. But yeah, you're going to need three for at least one knee pad. That's got to be set up now. And you're going to want to then take... Okay, that stick's still good in there. This is the finished product and stuff, but we're going to show you the entirety. And by the way, this is not... I do not own the rights to this build. This build, I do not know who the original person is, but this build's been around for a while in the sliding community. Um, probably not, it probably doesn't go as far back as um, when sliding first came around and not Scary Farm, but this is, this is about around there, kind of. Anyways though, you're gonna wanna take your hot glue gun a stick and you're gonna want to then lay it down um, and don't do anything yet until I show you because I know that some people actually have screwed up on this and then they're like oh my god just hold on for a sec okay chill till I can get this guy laid on there Yeah, you're going to want to take two sticks, two pieces of the paint stick, preferably keep it there, jeez. And you're going to want to place them on top of each other. Like so. And then look at look at me. Pay attention to me now. You're gonna want to place them right here. There's gonna be a little lip right here. You don't want to place them above the lip. And you're gonna want to, after you place them on top of each other, press it down. Take a look at it. See now that's flat. Basically flat. Then you're gonna to wanna to take another one, and you're gonna to wanna to place it, you're gonna to wanna to put glue down, you're gonna to wanna to place it above it. Ugh. So put glue down in this right above. Okay. Place it, press it down. Be careful not to burn your fingers, as a lot of people know, well should know, hot glue is very unforgiving and it will burn. Then you're going to want to take your pucks before you glue them and you're going to want to check to see how even the surfacing is. Surfacing looks good, nice and flat, 
Let's see if this makes it any flatter. Mm. I don't think that I need to do that. It should be fine just the way it is, right? Yeah. Okay. And make sure that you score the knee pad and you score your pucks too. Like, just scratch the living crap out of it. Then, you're going to want to take your pucks off and you can either glue right onto the knee pad area or you can do like I'm going to do and I'm just going to put a shit ton of glue on the puck itself. And if you get the bigger pack of hot glue sticks, you should, like for the big, you should only need about five sticks for this. But as Cody Wright says, he's actually the guy that showed me how to do this build on a group I'm a part of, that I'm a part of on Facebook. It is a slider group if you do want to know about that group and stuff just I guess contact me and I will see if and like add me on Facebook I'll probably put my Facebook link down below but if you haven't guessed it's Stitches Skinner on Facebook it's my profile picture for my YouTube channel is literally what my profile picture looks like for Facebook so if you can't find me then you're blind but anyways like I said just and then after you're done, you're going to want to place it right, place the first one right there. Right over to, on the lip and the first two sticks that you put down. Right now I'm just trying to slop this shit on here. Um, and just put a shit ton of glue like you're doing a E6000 to a shoe. Like you're trying to put a steel toe cap on a shoe. Put a shit ton of glue on. Place it. Press it down. Then you're going to want to let it sit for a little bit. Ah, it's done. It's nice. It's set up. I'm probably still going to put a little more glue there. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your hot glue like after you're done, press it down and stuff. You're gonna wanna take your hot glue and you're gonna wanna fill all of the crevices that you see. Don't leave a crevice ungooked. You do not want these coming off at all. You're gonna want these to be as tight of a bond as possible. Plus this will keep the puck from moving and like rocking around while you are sliding. Yeah, I just put a shit ton of hot glue in the crevices. Basically, you just want this to end up as one solid piece. That's what I am trying to do anyways. I like to have one solid piece when it comes to this build. Yeah, you're just going to want to fill that up all up in there. Then, of course, you're going to want it to sit for a bit. And you're going to, like I said, you're going to want to do that for all the way around. Keep on filling. And then, in the end, it'll look like this. It'll look like one solid piece. You can choose, if you want to, to, like, just add a fuck ton, basically. 
make sure it's nice, make sure it's secure, and then if you want to, you can paint these what you want. I don't know if I'm going to paint mine yet, but it's going to look like this, and it's a personal preference, really, if you want the steel, like if you want the flint pucks, or if you want the just the regular uh, plastic pucks. They are longboarding pucks, basically, online. Or just look up bang bang uh, longboarding pucks, basically. Um, anyways, though, I, that's pretty much the video. I hope you guys actually enjoyed. If you do want to build these, like I said, this is uh, the video that I was going to make and or I was going to see if Cody was going to let me post his video. Um, this has been Stitches Skinner. Keep on getting stitches. Keep on skinning. Keep on scaring the living hell out of people. And I will see you in the next one. Let's go.